Hello everybody, it's Tanner Fishies here, back again with a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Ninjago set number 71765, the Ninja Ultra Combo Mech. This thing is part of the Ninjago Core line for the winter of 2022, and it retails for $89.99 in the United States. $90 for this thing. With a piece count of 1,104, I'd say this is a pretty good value right off the bat. The set includes four ninja, a couple of snakes, a master Wubot, and of course, the combo mech itself, which is comprised of several individual ninja vehicles. Zane's tank makes up the legs, Cole's driller makes up the arms, Kai's mech makes up the actual main body of the thing, and Jay's mech kind of makes the head, upper chest, and shoulder pads, maybe? Out of all of the Ninjago core sets for the winter of 2022, this set was one of my most anticipated. In today's video, I plan on giving my opinions of this set, but of course, you guys don't have to agree with my opinions, they are just opinions after all. So let's go ahead and start things off by taking a look at the minifigures, and then we will just work our way up from there, concluding with a look at the combined version of this Ultra Combo Ninja mech thing. Okay, so minifigures. Here we have the good guys. This is what you get for protagonists. You get the four original ninja in their new updated core outfits. I've already taken a look at these guys in more detail in other videos, so if you want to hear a little bit more of my, I guess, in-depth thoughts on these guys, check out those other videos. You obviously get the four originals, including Kai, Zane, Jay, and Cole, all of which have katana and an additional weapon, except uh, for Kai. He just has another katana, so that's kind of cool. I like these guys. It's a nice good guy selection. I like their suits. I like their weapons. Uh, Cole has this nice little hammer thing. Jay has nunchucks. Zane has shurikens. It all works out pretty well. And overall, this is basically all you need for good guys. Just the four original ninja. Sounds good to me. For bad guys, you get these three. You get a Master Wubot first and foremost, who actually uses the same printing, I think, from the Seabound sets. The Hydro Bounty, I think, included a couple of these guys. Except this guy has some launchers on his head. That's cool, I suppose. Shoot out little studs or whatever whatever works you also get two snakes i think i've talked about these guys before as well the snake on the left has some shoulder armor and some gauntlets that's kind of cool and the snake on the right pretty much has nothing these guys have names but i cannot recall their names right now and frankly these snakes are kind of hard to care about they are just generic snakes but feel free to enlighten me in the comments what exactly are these two called feel free to let me know in terms of side builds there's not much you are primarily paying for the actual combo mech itself but you do get this thing. This is a little serpentine walker thing. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what you would call this thing. It's a snake vehicle of some kind. You can see how the snake just kind of sits in there. This thing, I think it's some kind of walker. You can see that its limbs are made up of those new pieces that uh, that sort of act as like elbow or knee joints. I want to get a whole bunch of those. You get a couple of them in orange in this set, which is actually a pretty nice deal. Uh, color wise, I like all the gunmetal gray on this thing. That looks cool. You can pull this thing down to reveal the snake. He just kind of sits in there. You can close him up just like that. And yeah, you can pose these limbs around if you want. They are all on ball joints, so you can move them around any which way you want. You, there's no uh, posability up here though. It's just primarily right there in that ball joint. You can also adjust these things on the back if you so desire. These have some cannons attached to it which shoot out more studs. I don't know how to feel about this little snake vehicle thing. I think it's a cool inclusion. It gives the mech something to fight, but it just kind of seems like the snakes are at a disadvantage here. I'm not sure how much I like this vehicle. I like some of the parts that it comes with, but in terms of snake vehicles, we've seen better before. This thing's just kind of, kind of weird looking, kind of dumb. Not really sure what it's supposed to to be. So in terms of the ninja vehicles, you combine all four of them to create the combo mech, and Kai includes just a normal mech. This thing is rather tall, it's pretty much hard for me to get it all in frame, but you can pretty much see how it works. As Kai mechs go, this isn't the best mech that I've ever seen for Kai, but it's also far from the worst. Just giving you guys a quick turnaround here. I like the back. The back is clean on this thing. You can kind of see how Kai just sits up in here. Uh, yeah, pretty cool mech, I suppose. Has some interesting sticker detail over here, for example kind of reminds me of something that you would see from Iron Man. Similar thing on the other side. Not sure if that was intentional or not. You also have some detail right here for the chest. I like how these things can be posed around if you if you want. You can kind of readjust those. It just kind of depends on what you personally want to do with this thing. Readjusting a little bit here, you can kind of see how the cockpit works out. All you got to do is just uh, push this windscreen down and you can reveal Kai. He just kind of stands in there. It's not the best connection ever. It's not the best looking seat ever. And the windscreen just kind of rests on Kai's 
face, I suppose that's how that works. Overall, this isn't the best uh, seat I've ever seen for a mech, but it works out. You also have these shoulder pauldrons that you can move around if you want. You can pose those any which way. Just kind of depends, again, on what you want to do. The legs are actually built really nice. I like how those thighs look. Very beefy, very nice looking uh, build right there. Articulation wise, you can obviously uh, pose these legs around. They are on a very tight ratchet joint. You can't really adjust them all the way. They do have some stabilizers here for when you actually combine the entire thing. That is very smart on Lego's end. The actual legs themselves don't really have knees, but you can also do, you can also disconnect this if you want. That could kind of make a knee, but I don't think that counts technically. That's more for transformation. Uh, the feet are fine looking. They do have some posability. They are on ball joints. You can pose these any which way you want. The arms are, of course, on ball joints as well. You can kind of see how that works out. There is a ratchet right here for an elbow joint. Not too bad of a look there. And you get some fingers and some hand movement. That's cool. This hand has a sword on it. You can kind of see how that looks. Uh, pretty common for mechs to include swords that look exactly like this not the most original thing ever but it works out overall this Kai mech it's not too bad it's kind of tall it's kind of difficult for me to actually record the thing but hey it's a pretty solid looking Kai mech actually I'm actually a really big fan of how this thing goes together lots of sharp angles it looks pretty nice all things considered this thing is gonna be a little bit easier to record this is Zane's snowmobile tank thing it almost looks like a snowmobile mixed with a with a tank I like the treads here overall this Zane vehicle is not too bad I like the sticker detailing back here here. that will come more into play during the combination as well and overall yeah this tank isn't too bad looking I like the colors the white the black and the gold work really well together it kind of throws me off that Zane's colors involve a light blue as well while the rest of the tank doesn't really include that there's also little bits of red here and there which do kind of stand out as being somewhat obnoxious but it's not the worst thing ever you can also see that this tank does include an extra seat which the instructions suggest that you put the master Wubot in there not sure why if he's an enemy maybe you're just driving him to the next location that looks kind of cool you can also put another ninja in there if you want and of course Zane just kind of sits in the cockpit just like that you can take him out if you so desire and put him somewhere else I'm also going to take out the master Wubot because there's no point in including him in this vehicle in my opinion uh yeah overall this tank I actually do not mind all that much there is some articulation used here I suppose you can adjust these if you want you can adjust these up here but that's more for transformation as well the treads do roll probably not on a flat surface but you can see the treads will will in fact move and roll that's cool it's always nice to see for a tank like vehicle overall this vehicle's not too bad I do like this shape up here too kind of makes it look more mechanical more tank like this actually is not a bad looking vehicle I think this might be my favorite out of all of the ninja vehicles that you get in this set Cole's vehicle on the other hand is a little bit underwhelming I'd say this is supposed to be another one of those earth drillers I, I guess I mean it's a driller for Cole might as well be the earth driller as you can see this thing is kind of uh, kind of weird looking. It almost seems like this vehicle had the least amount of attention put into it. You can spin these drills up front, which is cool. There's not like a function where when you roll the vehicle, the drills spin. You can just spin them if you so desire. I like the sticker detailing though. I like that piece a lot. That sticker looks really cool. Also, the details are quite nice. I like that a lot. I just have some issues with the overall construction of this thing. The back doesn't connect at all. It's very floppy, very flimsy. Of course, that's more for the, uh, the transformation once you combine all of the vehicles. But out of all of the vehicles, I think this one suffers the most in terms of, you know, sacrificing the vehicle itself in favor of the transformation. This thing feels like a very flimsy afterthought. Cole just kind of sits in there, as you can see, his windscreen uh, moves upwards. He just kind of sits in there. He has a little control panel. There's no way to, you know, adjust that all the way. He just kind of has it rest on his head which is okay, I suppose. Yeah, not my favorite ninja vehicle out there. Not my favorite coal vehicle that they've ever made. Uh, this thing might be my least favorite out of the entire set in terms of vehicles, I guess you could say. And naturally, that brings us to the last vehicle that we have to talk about, that being Jay's jet plane, or Jay's plane, his glider, whatever you want to call this thing. Uh, I like this thing. I think it's decent. I like the colors on it. The dark blue and the gold look really nice. There's also some bits of red on here. You can see they have some of these flags, which kind of stand out as being a little weird, but you also have some red there. So it's not the worst thing ever. These wings are on ball joints. You can adjust these any way that you'd like. You can make a flapping effect if you really want to. Not exactly sure how this thing will fly. You can also readjust these uh, flags if you don't like them there. You can pose those 
those around. Jay obviously sits in there quite comfortably. You can see what he's up to. He has a whole bunch of control panels, one on either side of him. That's interesting. The back of this vehicle has a little thruster thing, a nice orange piece meant to, you know, simulate a thruster. Uh, yeah, this thing's okay. It also has some stickers, obviously a sticker, sticker sticker on the front there and that's okay too you can also adjust this if you really want to but that's more for the transformation uh yeah i i don't mind this plane that much it's a nice looking plane i suppose you can tell though that a lot of these vehicles do have sacrifices made compromises made to their design to their build that will ultimately go on to favor the actual combination individually some of these vehicles struggle while jay's might not struggle as much as say cole's you can tell that this thing is not really the most stable thing on its own. I would not sell this as an actual set individually, if that makes sense. It is very much a combination vehicle for the purpose of just combining and nothing more. Now that we've covered all of the individual vehicles, let's get into the transformation sequence, which is pretty much easier said than done. First things first, you're going to want to take the Kai mech and readjust the legs, bend them backwards in a way to make this type of look. It's very awkward and very difficult to do on camera. Then you want to take the Zane tank thing and split it apart, and you have two solid sections here. You are then going to bend the front of it forwards to create two different legs. These, of course, will be the legs of the actual combo mech. And you want to connect both of these to the actual Kai mech. It's pretty easy to clip these things together. Then we take the Cole's earth driller thing and split it apart as well. These are going to make the arms. You're going to have to readjust some of the joints here to create a couple of poseable arms. You are then going to come to the back of the mech and disconnect these two pieces, which are essentially going to be used to hold the arms in place. You are then going to reconnect them with the arms in place. And then you're going to take the J jet plane thing and you're going to basically split it apart. Take off both of the wings and you are left with three distinct sections. The wings will act as shoulder pauldrons which are easy enough to clip onto the actual combination and the rest of the jet will transform to reveal the mech's head and once you've clipped it onto the back of the mech and readjusted the entire thing to make sure it looks good you have yourself the completed combination. And I think for the most part, this combo mech looks awesome when it's all combined together. There are some limitations though. The transformation itself is kind of difficult to pull off and I found it to be really parts for me, which makes sense considering how it is a Lego mech that combines together through Lego vehicles. But considering how this is supposed to be a transformation, I don't know, to me it just felt a little too finicky, a little too parts for me. I wasn't a huge fan of how this thing actually went together. The final product admittedly is pretty cool. I've seen some people say that maybe this mech takes inspiration from Gurren Lagann, which is an anime that I'm a very big fan of, but to me this looks more like the Gao Gai Gar than anything. I'm not sure if it's because of the drills, maybe it's because of the multiple vehicles combining into a mech, I don't know, to me this just screams Gao Gai Gar, and part of me wants to revamp this mech one day and make it more like the Gao Gai Gar. All of the parts are there, I just need to make it happen. In terms of the actual mech though, as I mentioned, it is a pretty solid connection. It looks good when it's all put together, articulation wise though, it does leave a little bit to be desired. There are no knee joints on this mech, but you do have the ankle pivot, which is obviously supplied by the Zane vehicle. You have some posability in the arms, you have some elbow joints, and of course the drills can still spin, but ultimately that's about it. The shoulder pauldrons can move as well if you would like to adjust those. The head can look up and down, I, I guess, but there's not a lot of articulation there either. And overall, the mech itself, when you combine it together, it just kind of stands there. I think the mech works though. When you combine everything together, it makes for a pretty interesting build. I'm not a huge fan of the way that the ninja are placed in this mech either. From what I can understand from the box, Kai and Jay don't even sit in this thing, and it's operated by Zane and Cole, which obviously sit in the same place that they would sit in their normal vehicles, which makes their seating pretty awkward. Overall, I do like the actual shape of the mech itself. It's just kind of difficult to manage and pose and difficult to readjust if you need to. And as combination mechs go, I think this one is actually pretty cool. I think it combines the ninja's vehicles really well and creates a pretty cool looking mech I must say. I just think it has some minor issues that keeps it from feeling 100% complete. I think design wise it could have been improved a little bit more, but overall I am quite content with this mech. Here we have the spare pieces that you get in this set, including the brick separator, which is always included in larger Ninjago sets, or just Lego sets in general. Here's a quick look at the instruction manual, a pretty sizable manual for a pretty large set, and of course here we have the spent sticker sheet. This set uses a lot of stickers. Alright, so to summarize my thoughts on the Ninja Ultra Combo Mech, I honestly think it's a pretty good idea. Execution-wise, I think it leaves a little bit to be desired, especially in articulation, and 
maybe some of the awkward placements of the actual ninja once the mech is fully put together and combined. I think they could have combined in a more fluid fashion. I do like the individual vehicles though, for the most part, but again, they rely on that combination gimmick, which makes the individual vehicles kind of suffer in some areas. I like how this set is pretty much designed around the four original ninja. It's always nice to see that combination together, and considering the set's overall piece count, I think you are getting a good value here for what you end up paying. I just think the mech, when it's combined together, has some issues. I do like the idea though, and I'm very much happy that this set exists as a fan of Ninjago and as a fan of mechs and robots. Overall, I'd say this set is worth getting. I would recommend it, though understand that it's not the most perfect thing out there, in my humble opinion, of course. So with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here today on the Ninja Ultra Combo Mech, Ninjago Core set number 71765. Leave a comment down below talking about what you think about this set, and what do you think of my review? Leave all your thoughts down below in the comment section, and hopefully you enjoyed today's video. That'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here today. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media. Thank you all so much for checking out today's video once again. My name is Shannon Freshies, and with that, I bid you farewell.